While it is very useful to have a procedural stack that's full of operators and each operator responsible for its own little edit, oftentimes you may want to choose to collapse or bake the, the changes made by procedural operators into a single operator. Maybe you will want to do this for simplifying the operator stack or maybe you want to avoid any future um, accidental changes to the hair by uh, accidental changes of parameters and you want to solidify the changes that you've made. Onitrix allows you to do this by baking multiple operators anywhere within the stack. So in this case I have a, a very basic uh, character here with some procedural hair that I made and the stack is quite simple. It has uh, uh, some edit guides which uh, groom the hair and after it was groomed uh, it is converted to hair and then frizz and uh, curl and clump are applied. So uh, if I wanted for example to take the frizz, curl and clump and bake them down into a single edit guides operator I would have to select those three operators, go into the bake tab and inside the bake tab we have the bake selected modifiers option. If I click this all the operators that were selected are gone and they're replaced by a single new edit guides modifier which contains the changes that were made by those three modifiers previously. If I go into the uh, edit guides modifiers uh, main, uh, main tab here I have the apply amount and I can change this value if I reduce or increase it, it's going to undo or redo the changes that were previously made by those uh, modifiers. This is undoable and redoable, so if I undo I get my uh, modifiers back. I can even go and uh, starting from edit guides all the way towards the uh, towards this clump operator and just bake those together and the hair remains as it was and our operator stack is much simpler. The usefulness of baking modifiers also extends to ability to take out some noise or flickering during animation when you have a, a frizz or curl operator applied because those operators are procedural they can tend to create uh, minor jitters if you have highly detailed meshes and uh, you have small motion due to the floating point in precisions but if you bake uh, the operator down it's going to be applied in object space and those uh, floating point and precisions will be gone and the jittering and everything else will be resolved. So use this to make your grooms more powerful.